about 50 to 100 each week. Just a way of staying in touch emotionally or spiritually. Some co-workers call it pompous, others say he just looks mean or evil. Either way, check this out. He's got 135,000 Instagram followers. This intersection is still blocked off and has been since 2.30. This is where the battalion chief is being treated for an accident. Well, what this declaration provides is state and federal resources. This is some of the worst hell we've had in a while. I just picked my son up from school in Layton and we were heading back down to Farmington where I work. I felt like rocks were hitting my my car and my windshield was vibrating. The aftermath? There, there, there. Hundreds of dents, no idea if it'll be covered by insurance. I don't know yet. We're still in the process of dealing with all of that. Hicks is far from alone. It was just banging on the roof so loud I was worried it was going to dent my car. Turned our road into a mudslide. As thunderstorms swept across northern Utah, Water swept down streets. When it ran out of room, it flooded roads, underpasses, and parking lots. I got wet, and then I got dry, and then I got wet. One storm after another. Breaks a chance for kids to collect mm -hmm. bowls full of hailstones. A big smile for the biggest one. I've never seen hail that big ever. While the damage is totaled. I mean, they're just everywhere right there. Most are thankful it wasn't worse. My son was in the car with me, which always makes it uh, more frightening. You know, when you have your kids, other drivers trying to see standing water everywhere. We just put up with the summer to get to winter again. You want me to check your passes? It's opening day at Snow Basin. It's the earliest opening in our history. Cold temps, an amazing team, one of the best snowmaking systems in the country, and it allows us to do this, which is amazing. We had about 30 people that showed up with tents and sleeping bags and grills. Thank you. First chair, opening day. It's a feeling. Three, two, one. I don't know how much better it could be except four or five more feet of snow. Hey, have a good first run, man. It was definitely worth the wait. The snow was great early in the morning up at the top. Definitely a lot better than we expected. Right now we've got three lifts that will open today. And as the snow comes, we'll expand. And we're, we're hopeful that we'll be able to open a lot more real soon. I just can't wait to be up here. I want to be here every day. A real-time view of a fatal officer involved shooting. West Valley City Police are looking for Elijah Smith, accused of stealing cell phones. West Valley Police. There's some some guy here. Where? Um, Do you know who he is? West Valley Police, come out with your hands up! Three kids are inside, directing officers to a garage where they say an intruder is hiding. The three children are all there kind of behind each other as the officers um, proceed towards the threat. Inside the garage, police spot Smith hiding in a corner. The officers work their way into the garage. First officer in switched from his firearm to his taser, so we had a less lethal option available to us. As the officers get into the garage, we get our first look at Elijah Smith. Get him up in the air! Right now in the air! Put him up! Put them up! Get them out of your pocket! Get out of your Again, from another angle. Keep an eye on that right hand. He will remove his hand and his elbow will come up towards his shoulder as if um, it is a drawstring. Same video, but a very different view for family and friends. He was doing what they asked. He was getting his hands out of his pockets. Her protocol, the officer who fired the shots, is still on paid leave. No ruling on the shooting has been made. I hope we get justice for Elijah. He didn't deserve to die. Two views on three separate videos of one moment impacting the lives of family, police, and of Elijah Smith.